Hello and welcome and thank you for joining us. Today we're chatting to Colin Gale, the chairman of Billboard Africa. Colin, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Billboard in Africa. Why are you bringing Billboard to Africa? Well, you know, Billboard is, a, from a music perspective, is the industry standard globally. Um, so no matter where you go in the world, everyone is familiar with the brand. From a charting perspective, which kind of reflects back into royalties, artist payment, information about the industry. So it's kind of the industry bible. However, Africa as a whole does not have a music industry publication. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't have a chart. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any um, royalty management once you step out of South Africa. So we thought that Billboard would be a great tool to bring into Africa. Now, um, I mean, this of course would have an impact, a positive impact yes. in, in the music industry. Mm -hmm. What do you believe are the challenges that the, the industry is faced with in, in, in Africa? If we're talking about ex-South Africa, because there's two different scenarios. Mm -hmm. You talk about ex-South Africa, um, there, is no, there is no real industry. Um, and so artists are only paid for live performances. Um, they're generally not paid for performing rights. Um, they're not, there's no real publishing industry mm -hmm. um, ex-South Africa. Um, so there's no infrastructure. Uh, and there's no guidance around infrastructure. Um, there is no royalty management in the sense that radio and TV is not being monitored. Mm -hmm. So although radio may play a two-faced song a million times in Nigeria, he may never get a check from their performing rights organization. Mm -hmm. And if he does get one, no one knows if it's right or wrong. You seem to think that South Africa at least is, is better than the rest of the African countries. Where would South Africa, from a standard perspective, from a royalty perspective, compared to the rest of the world? South Africa has a lot of the tools that the rest of the world has. I mean... Mm -hmm. A lot of things, needle time, a lot of the things are in place. So you have SAMRO, um, you have a lot of the different agencies already in place. What they don't presently have, or at least an updated version, is a really good monitoring system um, to make sure that radio and TV is being monitored accurately. Um, so they have a monitoring version, it's kind of older technology, um, but it does monitor radio and TV. It does give you amount of plays that take place on a particular station. It only covers around 45 to 50 stations, mm -hmm. where South Africa has about 150 stations. Mm -hmm. Across, if you look at regional stations and you look at mainstream stations, mm -hmm. there's about 150. That's interesting you should say that, because some artists actually in South Africa would, would think or would say that. I mean, why then is the reason that many South African artists die paupers, you know, if, if indeed we checked up the way that you, 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 you're presenting it? A lot of the guys are not registered with Samra. Um, a lot of it, it's it, a lot of it is about education. Mm. There's not a lot of education around music, mm. um, and that's what Billboard does. It, it, it is there to educate the the industry as a whole, the new guys that want to get into the industry to kind of unpack. Well, this is how you make your money. Yes. This is what you should pay attention to. Yeah. Um, this is to make sure you register your song. Make sure that you follow up on what's being monitored, so you have a mm -hmm. copy of your own information. So at the twice a year when royalties are paid, that you know. Mm -hmm. exactly what you should make. A lot of information is just not there. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you say that what Billboard is bringing to Africa and South Africa is, is really the skill or the know-how on how to commercialize your, your music talent? Would you say that? Yes. It's, it's creating a space where everyone can begin to have that conversation, where there is some best global best practices. Uh -huh. So we instead of trying to recreate the wheel when we go to Kenya or to mm -hmm. Nigeria, mm -hmm. this, this you know, industry's been around for a long time yeah. and there, there's certain things that are staple. We don't need to recreate it. Billboard kind of brings a lot of that um, into one place. Um, mm -hmm. So everyone can kind of go to one place and find out what's going on in Nigeria, what's going on in Kenya, right. what's going on in Ghana. Because I think one of the first steps is everyone wants to export African music out to North America and to Europe, but the first export has to be internal. Absolutely. You know, and, and so once you start to get the internal mechanism working, and you can tell that, well, this sound is really hot in East Africa, you know, and now it's beginning to be hot in West Africa, because at a glance, I'm going to be able to tell you in 14 or 15 countries, what is the rhythm of Africa? Mm. Really tell you what the rhythm mm. is. What is radio really playing? What are people really responding to? What are people talking about on social media? Because we're able to monitor not only social media, but radio and TV. So we, we kind of have a kind of a 360 solution. Although we don't have a physical distribution system, and it won't exist in the rest of Africa, because Africa will leapfrog that, and we'll go to digital distribution, but we'll be able to take all those things into play. 
and then give a full picture of what's going on. One place where the Nigerian guy can talk to the Ghana guy and the Ghana guy can talk to the South African guy. And that's that's what Billboard is intent intention of doing in Africa. Uh -huh. So what else can, can artists or the industry look forward to? Well, you can look for a better royalty management. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. You can look for one comprehensive place where the conversation around music and around digital rights is happening in one place. So our online magazine, our, our, our physical print, if we go to physical print, will be one place where we're, we're looking at Africa not as... A lot of times things happen South Africa, mm -hmm. then it goes Nigeria, and then it kind of trickles down. Mm -hmm. Our idea is to kind of look at Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole mm -hmm. and have one conversation at once so that we have one comprehensive conversation. And, and of course, you can't talk about billboards with, with, without making reference to, to, to the charts. Which is the key thing. The, yeah. the charts is the center of billboard. Right. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. But what a lot of people don't understand, they understand what does it mean to have a number one record? Yes. You know, number one record means a certain financial benefit, part goes, benefit goes along mm -hmm. with it. So if someone in Nigeria tells you that he has a number one record, First, he has no proof of that, mm. that he has a number one record, mm. and he has no financial benefit mm. of that. So billboard charts, which is at the center of the conversation, mm. will give us one measuring tool. Mm. So we're going to be measuring the 16 countries or 18 countries against each other. Yeah, and, 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 and in closing, if we could just touch on, on, on the foundation, the billboard mm. foundation and the academy. What's, the what's that bringing? Yeah, the academy is where we look at industry experts from all over the world, and we pick particular subject matters. Um, so I, you'll be able to go on to the university and either pose a question mm -hmm. and have an answer back from an expert or just go on and say, I want to look up copyright. Mm -hmm. And then you have the head of the U.S. copyright or the European copyright. Talks about what is a copyright? Mm -hmm. How do you register your song? Mm -hmm. Or someone from Nigeria. So all the information in one place where an artist or the consumer can go on and research topics. So you have, you know, L.A. Reid, you have 50 Cent, you have yeah. all these guys talking about their path, their experience, so that we have something to look at, DeBange and all these guys, so you can look at best practices. Mm -hmm. Colin, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.